Hey guys, so here we are in the free audio editor Audacity, and I've got some audio here to show you um, basically how some of the main tools work and to show you a little bit of how you could improve your workflow. All right, so in this short video, I want to get you familiar with these six icons up here towards the top left next to your playback buttons. And you might already be confident with playing back, recording a little bit, uh, basic zoom and editing. These are going to be the next tools to a more efficient workflow. So to start off with, this is the this here is your selection tool, and you're going to be using this for almost everything, um, for selecting specific parts of your audio, for um, copying, pasting, deleting, whatever it is. Say I want to get rid of this piece here, just delete, or undo it with Control Z. And an additional feature of this that's pretty useful is you can click hold. Now say I want to export this specific piece of audio here, I could go up to File, Export, Export Selected Audio. Okay, so the next tool is this guy here, and this is your envelope tool. And this, this is for adjusting your volume levels of a specific track. So as you'll see when I click that, it adjusts the appearance of the track. So now I've got these blue lines up top. And I can use this to either lower the volume or raise it back up. So say, for example, you're recording a podcast or something of that nature. Say in the beginning you want your music to be a bit louder, but then once you start talking, you want to lower the volume. So I'll put a second point here, and I'll lower this right down, and we can listen to that. Right, and this automation tool it's definitely useful. You'll definitely want to be using this as much as you can if it's necessary. And same idea if you're doing a podcast on your outro, you want your music to gradually become louder again. Same idea, put my two points here. And now I can raise this back up like this. All right, so I'll just undo all that. All right, so the next tool is your draw tool. And this is a really neat tool. It's unique to Audacity. Um, to show you how this works, I have to, we'll take the zoom tool over here. And let's take uh, the beginning here. I'll zoom in. If you zoom in all the way, you just zoom in by clicking. You'll start to see these dots here on the waveform. Now what these are, these are very precise points in the audio that you can raise or lower with the draw tool. So I can raise the volume or lower it. So for example, let's bring this all the way up. Now when we zoom out here, zoom out is double click. We can see that this, this uh, point here is still in the waveform. So let's give that a listen to see how that sounds. Right. It's very subtle, but it's a slight click or a pop in your um, in your headphones. So I'll do it one more time. So obviously this doesn't sound good. The point of this, uh, this example here is that these points, these pops, they happen very often when you're talking. Uh, it happens naturally in your mouth. And so often when you're recording your voice, you'll see these in your waveform. So obviously you want to get rid of them. So you could take your zoom in tool here. We would zoom in on our point until we start seeing those dots again. Then we would take our draw tool over here and we can just erase this now from your audio. Zoom back out. And now it should be a smooth audio again. Right? So this guy here, this is just your basic time shift tool. This is just for arrangement, so I can click, hold, and now I can drag my audio around. This will be useful, again, if you're recording a podcast or something like that. Um, you can move your audio around, you can move your, your vocal recording around, basically just to arrange your track, your project. And finally, this last tool, your multi-tool. This is basically a combination of all six of them. So as you can see, we've got our envelope tool working here. We can raise or lower. We can highlight specific parts of our track if we want to delete stuff or copy paste. We can zoom in. And as far as moving the time shift, we do have to switch to that again and now we can drag this again. So yeah, these are going to be your six major tools. You'll be using them all the time in Audacity. Um, they definitely speed, speed up your workflow. So I would encourage you to uh, definitely get a good handle on them. I hope you found this video interesting or hope you learned something. And yeah, thanks for watching.